Okay, guys. Scott is going to tell his story. And y'all need to understand this is important. Okay? Okay. All right. Look at her heels. I'm set to play this. Stop. I'll send a raise. And that guy is with me. Um. We did shit that America doesn't want to know. You did stuff America doesn't want to know. Sorry, allergies. Sorry, Is that what you said? Allergies. You said yep. you, you did stuff America doesn't want to know. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, why? Why don't they want to know? Because I did kill a lot of people. Yes, I got sent in the houses in uh, a lot of countries. They said, well, you got to take a boat. And who said you got to take them out? The government. Who said you got to? The government. The government. Yep. So your superior officers told you to take everybody out? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did. Okay. And and nine guys with me that and they're still around I hope. I don't know. They aren't I hope they're still alive. I won't mention the names of that one. That I was sent all over the world. I told this well, this house needs to be taken over. Okay? Okay. I took the house out. You took the house out. What does that mean? Um... Uh, I took the house out. You killed everyone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I did. Women and children and everybody? Um, I tried not to eat all the kids. But there was ones with guns and anyone with a gun got taken out. Okay. Um... I went to a lot of countries and did that. I am hoping that... Uh, damn it. I had to do it. You had to do it. A job. That was... So, well, you gotta take me out. All right. Uh, I took out what I could. All right, guys, that were with me, there were nine guys. They were with me, and they wouldn't take the kids out. You know, we had to take a bail. Um, went to several different countries, and they wanted us to do it because... Uh, just because we could do it. That's it. Um, I am proud of what I did. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because you could do it. You could or you would? We would. You would. Okay, that's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. I... We tried to spare... The women and kids. 
and kids coming up with those bombs, and well, we had no choice. We all want to be. Take them out. I did. So you killed children. Oh, who wants to put the bombs at them? Okay. I'm proud of that. Okay, so you killed children with bombs strapped to them. Yes, ma'am, I did. You did? Okay. So I have no problem taking people out. If they need to right. Alright? Damn it. I hate talking about this. I know, but it's important. So you went to places that no one in America knew you were at? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did all of that. So it wasn't a officially sanctioned war? The government said that if we had caught, we were done. You were done? They would say, uh, you aren't. Supposed to be here. So you went to places the government, the United Very States good. government said you weren't supposed to be. Yes, ma'am. And you, and you, you killed people. That was my job. That was your job. To kill people. To kill people. Okay. You know, after them. Um, First, two or three it did better. After that, it was kill or be killed. Okay. So, did you do what they told you to do? I did what they told me to do. Every time? Yes, ma'am, I did. There were drug lords and you name it and a lot of Government said, Well, oh, you're you're a squad, so go take them out. Yes. After the uh, second or third it was okay, no big deal. So they said you were the squad. What kind of squad? What do they call you? We were a suicide squad. You were the suicide squad? Yep. Of the Marine Corps? Yes, ma'am. You were the suicide squad of the Marine Corps? Yes, ma'am. That's what they called you? Well, more or less. I don't know who what we were. I'm not proud of it. Why aren't you proud of it? Because I do a lot. Never mind. I do a lot I don't want to. I'm proud of it. Damn it. But, you know. You did say. Since somebody in the head, after a while, I got. Okay, fine. You did things they didn't, you didn't want to do, but they told you to do? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I did that. Okay. And to this day, I have no problem taking people out. So, I'm not proud of what I did when I was in the Marines. But at this point, now I protect my people. If somebody has a problem, give me a holler and maybe I help you, maybe I can't. I don't know. Um, do, you, do you believe there's a sense of justice? Do I what? Do you believe there's a sense of justice? <laughs> I do when it comes to people that 
are being uh, um, maliciously offended or um, I don't know how to say it. Somebody pick on somebody. I don't have no problem taking care of the problem. Okay. All right. And <laughs> I got a runny nose. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. But the United States, the United States Marines. Ask you to do something and you did it, right? I did it. Okay. That was my job. That was your job. That was my job. So, do you feel guilty for that? Mm -hmm. I did it first, but not anymore. Not anymore? Not anymore. Okay. okay, good. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. So, but I still protect the uh, people so that I love. So, what do you want to tell all of your military friends out there that did what they had to do? Don't give up. And you did what you had to do. I had to do what I had to do. Yeah. But you don't dare give up and don't put that bullet in your head. <laughs> there you go. You people are my people. Yeah. There you go. And then him talking to somebody, holler at me. I'll talk to you. Yeah. Hard times are, they suck. But, you know, bullet in the head ain't, ain't your answer. No. No, it's not. Damn it, I'll talk to you. I'll take you every day if you want. I no problem doing that. I know what the guys in Afghanistan are going through right now. And, uh, you people, people in, uh, America or wherever don't understand what these guys are going through. They're hurting. You know, don't let them guys give up. Nope. I'll talk to every one of them every day. Yeah. If that's what I want to do. Because I've been there. I went through that in peacetime. And I know what they're going through right now. And they're, they're hurting. So anybody out there, if you got to talk to a... Uh, one of you guys is hurting. Talk to them. Yeah. Tell them. Say, hey, ain't worth it. That bullet in the head ain't worth it. No. Damn it. You talk to them vets. You see a vet out there, you say, hey, they appreciate that. Yeah. They do. I've had a bullet in my head a lot of times. And I don't want to see my uh, fellow vets put that gun in their head. In no way. Yeah, I've had that a couple of times. And it ain't pretty. So it's 22 a day. These guys, you got to talk to them. I don't care who you are. You talk to them. You tell them that if it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be here. I guarantee you that. So... Well, I'm telling you right now. I've been out of service for I don't even know how long. I got maybe one and I'm still here. So you see a vet, you make sure you tell him or her 
Thank you for your service. Let them know. That means a lot. It does. Many people you don't even know. You don't even know. You have no clue what we went through. You have no clue what I went through. I'm still here. I'm 60. I don't know where I am. Six is up. Damn it. People talk to these guys <coughs> and women. Tell um. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I got all kinds of weird diseases. And the VA don't help me a bit. It's okay. You tell these people, you know, no need to tell me. Tell the other guys and girls that are out there, hey, you're all right. You're going to be okay. Damn it. Tell them. They fought to keep your right to be, uh, uh, free. Or you can just let it all go if you want. And then you don't have no damn internet or any sort of fun toys or anything else. Hey, people are out there fighting hard. Um, A lot of you guys over overseas right now did what are doing what I had to do. We're going in houses and doing whatever they got to do. Well, I did it during peace, peace time, so that don't matter. Now, what I had to do is totally different than what they had to do. But I guarantee you, they're still out there doing it. And they're keeping you guys in a free country. You don't like that? Well, okay, that's fine. Then go be under a communist law or whatever you want to do. <laughs> and you don't have no more internet or... No sort of stuff to play in the games or whatever. I am out of here. I can't do this no more. You can't do it no more? No, I can't do it no more. Okay. I've done enough. I love you. Love you too.